Milky Way galaxy is one of the roughly 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. It is a vast barred spiral galaxy that serves as the home of our solar system. The Milky Way is immense with an estimated diameter of about 100,000 light years and contains countless stars including our sun. Like almost all the galaxies, it has a supermassive black hole at its center. It is called a Sagittarius A star. Around a month ago, something weird but interesting happened there at our galactic center as observed by NASA. So what is this all about? Why is it that interesting? And the most important question, how did the researchers figure out this event that occurred around two centuries ago? This is the Universe Factory and we are dedicated to bring you the latest news and discoveries in astronomy. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notifications to receive updates when we post new videos. This way you will never miss an update on the latest happenings in the world of astronomy. We use different social media platforms as well, links to which have been mentioned in the description do check out to follow us. Also stick to the end of the video, there is an audio visual treat for you. We will leave you to some cosmic music that NASA has recently released as a part of their sonification project. Sagittarius A star is the closest supermassive black hole to our Earth. It is enormously as massive as 4 million suns fit together. Just like any other black holes, Sagittarius A star 2 exerts tremendous gravitational pull that draws in any nearby matter, even the light itself. Whenever these giants consume the matter surrounding them, the temperatures around them goes extreme up to as high as millions of degrees. This results in the emission of strong, powerful radio waves and X-rays. Compared to the other supermassive black holes, Sagittarius A star is relatively not as active. It means it is not consuming much material, leading to the weak outbursts of emissions. That is why it displays low luminosity, leading the astronomers to call it as a sleeping giant. But recently, something weird but truly remarkable happened at the heart of our galaxy. Usually, molecular gas clouds near Sagittarius A star appear to be darker and colder due to lack of activity of the black hole. But researchers observed that these clouds were remarkably luminous while doing their investigation. So what did exactly cause these clouds to shine brightly all of a sudden? The reason is, the Milky Way's monster black hole lit out a huge blast 200 years ago. The echoes reflecting off nearby gas clouds and observed by NASA's IXPE spacecraft are evidence that Sagittarius A star had relatively recent outburst. It seems that the supermassive black hole of our home galaxy is not a dormant after all. The theory suggests that this monster greedily ate something around two centuries ago and now we observed it letting out flash of X-rays. It is like Sagittarius A star is now burping out after having its meal. You can now actually listen to this echo thanks to NASA's sonification project. Just listen how it sounds like. NASA's IXPE spacecraft can measure the polarization of X-ray light from such events. This space observatory is specifically designed to reveal information about how the light emitted by a black hole or neutron stars or pulsars has been produced and reflected. IXPE found that the X-ray echoes have a polarization angle consistent with an origin in the direction of Sagittarius A star. These careful observations finally reveal that the observed X-ray emissions from the giant molecular cloud was in reality a reflected light of powerful outburst 
that must have been originated from Sagittarius A star. Furthermore, the strength of the polarization indicates that the X-rays were emitted a little over 200 years ago, probably around the beginning of the 19th century in an event that lasted less than a year and a half. The brightness of X-ray echoes indicates that this outburst increased the black hole's X-ray luminosity a million times compared to its dormant state today. Exactly what ill-fated object fell too close to Sagittarius A star to be ripped apart remains the uncertain. There are stars that orbit very close to the black hole. Additionally, there are clouds of gas that roam dangerously very close and getting warped and twisted by black hole's enormous gravity. We can safely say that there is enough food for this black hole to eat as these stars and clouds will eventually fall into the sea. So that is what happened at the central core of our galaxy. The Milky Way's monster black hole let out a huge blast 200 years ago and we can now listen to its echo. It really woke up around 200 years ago. As mentioned earlier, we said something about NASA's sonification project. Because of this, we can actually hear the celestial objects. Simply put, all the digital data from space observatories like James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble Space Telescope, Spitzer Space Telescope, Chandra X-ray Observatory is translated and converted into sound. Since there is no medium for sound to travel in space, Sonification allows the audience, including blind and visually impaired communities, to listen to astronomical images and explore their data. It is like gaining a different perspective by hearing the data instead of seeing it. Before we fulfill our promise of the audio-visual treat of NASA's sonification project, please give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and if you learned something new today. Do subscribe to the channel followed by pressing the bell notification next to it. Now enjoy this cosmic music that NASA has released recently. You can find more of these, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thank you.